Get up, my love. All right, what's up, miss? Hello, how you doing today, colors? I'm good. Thank Welcome to those go watch for radio. Hi. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for having me. No doubt, no doubt. So tell people how you got started in, you know, less than 30 minutes. So tell them that. Okay. <laughs> well, like I said, everybody, thank you so much for those to watch radio for having me. My name is C.R. Frage, also known as C.R. Frage, the Chucky Dollar the Chuck Town. Um, <clears throat> I first started out in the band almost 10 years ago, going on 10 years ago, with a young man named Hezekiah Latson. Yep. He was, okay. um, he is the owner of Full Cold. Full well, Cold, yeah, Bricks. Yeah. Him and his Kevin brother Bricks, Bricks. yeah. yeah. Um, <clears throat> it's been a long time since I've seen them. Uh, I started out with them in a band, then I um, shortly after that moved on, started doing my own thing, singing, rapping. Um, that's all. But so when you were in the band, were you singing or rapping or both? I was singing, but Hans really wanted me to rap. He really wanted me to get in the studio and do lots of rap. Let's spit some bars. Yeah. Right, 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 right. But as we all know, it is honestly, I think it's it's the more popular thing for women to do. I think singing is always going to be there for you because it's a God-given talent. Um, rapping is not bad, but to me it is a skill. So I said. You know, can we just continue to just focus on the band? What are I singing? But after that, I moved on, started doing a lot of rapping in my house on my own by myself. But even though I wasn't with Hazel anymore, I made sure that I st uh, that I stuck with colors. Right, right, mm -hmm. right. Okay, okay. So my my question to you is, um, how did you come up with the name CR Phrase? <laughs> Okay. Yeah, that's a need to know. Thank you. My birth name is Christine Renee Frazier. Okay. For everybody who does not know out there, my name, my real name is Christine Renee Frazier. But Colors <laughs> actually gave me that name. But that's what's up, though, because it, yeah. it, but see, but see, that, and that's the whole thing about being in the industry. Yes, ma'am. You know, what, what's catchy and what's unique is what pops. Yes, you see what I'm saying? Like we had the conversation before we got on and I was saying how the name of my company came about and I didn't give it the name either. Yes, Somebody was like, you know, what's your birthstone? And then I said, it's a diamond. And it was like, okay, and your initials are LAW. So yes, let's, do, let's just do diamond law. You know, so so with CR phrase, you know, because everybody thought I was a uh, five zero at first. Wow. Like, Yo, we ain't going to party with them. That's the daggone police. And I was Dang. like, no, no, no. That's <laughs> it's, bad. You know, it's it's this. I said it's an L dot A yep. dot period. You That's know, right. and just like you have C dot R dot That's and then phrase. Um, phrase. Yes, right. Yes. So so um, but that's a very unique name. That was a great concept there, Mr. Color. Yeah, I told her that I was like, use that. Use yeah. that. Like, he's always been a former <laughs> late call by I said, like, use that, see how you use yeah. that. Right. And and and, and it sticks. Cause how so I cool. how I met her was actually at a meeting of the mind. Um, <laughs> I love the last that, one. The last one. Okay. And, and when I was um, sick I missed people, after nine years of doing this. Well, people know that that when they, when they know me, like uh, I'm just hardcore. When I used to be with um, Lockdown, um, I was known as Project Pat. I was known <laughs> as the Lockdown Police um, because it's like if, if it wasn't right, it wasn't Yo, going down. It? You know what I'm saying? If yes, it wasn't right, it wasn't going down. So when I see people, they know that I'm real articulate of when I'm looking at artists of you know stage performance, the lyrics, the music. I don't just look at an artist and say, oh, that's a funky beat. I like that. No, I got to see what you with the whole package. Yes, and so when I saw you perform, I I was sitting in my chair. Matter of fact, I don't know if you saw me sitting in the back with my legs cocked up on the chair. Where I was chilling <laughs> like I was at home. I had, my, I, had, I had my little pen and paper, and I had my little legs cocked up on the chair. And I saw you, and I said, oh. And I sat straight up. And when I sat straight up and looked, and then I saw, you know, the, the, the uniqueness of your performance, number Thank one. You. Number two, the originality of the music. Thank you. And then the whole, the whole, just the whole package was just one of those that just jumped out like, 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 you know, like, wow, who is that? Thank I don't want to know. Yeah, because you didn't, you didn't, you don't do the same beat that everybody does. You yes, don't, you don't walk the same path that everybody does. Sure don't. So in, in, in saying that, Thank what, you. what would you call the genre of your music or what made you choose that style of beat? Okay, um, I will honestly say that song, mm -hmm. I, I consider myself to be a normal hip-hop and R&B act. Mm -hmm. But for that record, 
Um, Tell everybody what the name of that record is. That song that I performed a couple Sundays ago was High Beam. It's High called Beam. High Beam. A lot of people go, it's ready to go, but mm -hmm. it's High Beam. <laughs> but I call I call it hip hop. I'm sorry, trip hop. Mm -hmm. Trip hop, you know, trip hop like how Kanye West used to do. Mm -hmm. um, that's one of my influences in the business. But a lot of people nowadays, they call it electronic dance music. Uh-huh. Um, it's very up tempo, very fast paced. It's very skater. It's very rough. yeah. It did, it did have a, it did have a techno vibe. I can yep. see that at, at like a rave or something like that. It did have a nice techno vibe, but it, it was definitely unique. I definitely enjoyed it. Thank you. I yeah. appreciate it. Cause she's always Cause, different. Yeah, and everybody don't get one of my business cards. So you oh, know, I, oh, I appreciate you. <laughs> <laughs> it, it reminds me of bombs over bag. That that's what. Yeah, I'm yeah, like. yeah. It did have that. It did have that feel. But I, I just liked it. I just I just thought it was very unique and very. Um, um, very savvy, very very Thank business you. savvy Thank on your you. part because you don't have like, like if you hear that song you automatically be like no that's the Yes, that's not ma'am. And you don't sound like the next person. So Thank you, Lloyd. Yeah. <laughs> I saw him. Look over Ratchet. Ratchet Princess. So bossy. Ev MT. Everybody, Colors told me about <laughs> this earlier before we started, but I'm gonna give give Colors the the praise. You see what I mean? He, he ain't our Lord and Savior, but, but <laughs> Lord, he do work for him. You see what I mean? All right. <laughs> and he hooks everybody up, gets everybody together. I got with Ratchet Princess through the man right here, Colors. Okay. Um, Ratchet Princess, she was supposed to be doing um, a party. She was supposed to be hosting a party for Soul Boss and ENT. And Colors was like, you know, maybe you would like to get down with her since you were looking for a manager. At the time, I was looking for management. And I went to... Spot. Yeah. yeah, no, not 76. Oh, 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 the oh, time. They changed it. Yeah. Willies. Yeah. yeah Willies. Willies. Yeah. Willies. Uh, they closed it down, but whatever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I went through, and me and her began to talk. We networked. She liked how I came out and supported her. Um, from there, it's, it's, it's just been wonderful. She was like, you, you're the next this and that, you're the next Jill Scott. I'm like, yeah, okay. Then don't hurt that your, your CEO does her own graphics. Yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> I thought that was right. <laughs> she I'm sure does. Right. Yeah, I was like, right to you. She's going to call me the Mars Flies. Shout out to Christy LaShawn, everybody. She goes by Christy LaShawn now. Oh, she ain't the ratchet, she, but she, she, she's, she said she's still a ratchet, but I don't believe her. <laughs> okay. Um, well, she got the Humble Rock album coming out, so we'll see. She'll she be ratchet then, but other than that, she's she Christy. Woman. Okay, business one. I got you. Um, yeah. So where where are you originally from? I'm from Charleston, South Carolina. I'm from downtown Charleston. Romney. Yes. <laughs> yes. A, a lot of people don't know me from there, but they know my family. I'm Romney. I, I was a quiet girl. I was always inside inside the house, but I, I'm most definitely I'm most definitely from there. Oh, so you from downtown? Yes. Charleston. I love it. Romney Street. Romney. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, all right. <laughs> And um, how long have you been singing and rapping? Well, I really started my journey when I was 12 years old. Mm -hmm. I used to always be in class doing music and everything like that when I had almost no friends. Nobody wanted to chill with me or anything. But I did have my group. We were called 3DQ. Okay. It was working me. out. Matter of fact, I was in a group with Gita. You know okay, Gita? of course. Yeah, the battle rapper. Yes. Yeah. Gita, her name was Gita. She called herself Gita Slapper. Oh, <laughs> Jackson. <laughs> but it was me and her, me, her, and another young lady named Candy. Okay. Um, we disbanded shortly after that, but we always said, you know, we gonna stick to this music, and we gonna do what we have to do. Gita has been very successful. Um, I'm, I'm trying to get there. <laughs> yeah, you there? You gonna get it? Uh, yeah, I, I know Carla, especially with you. <laughs> but that, that's really how I got my start. But when it comes down to getting in the studio and everything like that, I was probably 19. I was, I was 19 years old when I really started to. What well, first he was? Jay Brown or so 40? He, he was my first. Right. Uh, uh, well, actually, has, but we didn't put anything out. Okay. Yeah. All right, Studio J, that's what's up. Make, make reality out of dreams. Yeah! An engineer that cares. Studio J! <laughs> Very <laughs> successful. Oh, man. That's what's up. That's a, a definitely a dope situation right there. Yeah. Tell me about my my own role model. What, what's the whole um, scenario behind that? Versus you just you, you trying to tell people be yourself. You don't try to follow yeah. nobody. Is that the whole um, thing? Or are you saying you're your own role model? <clears throat> or are you telling people to well, be your own? 
See, I, 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 that's the thing about my own being my own role model. I wouldn't tell nobody else what to do, yeah. but I know what I am. A lot of people talk about my music, they listen and they say, man, she's positive. And, and I'm like, okay, yeah, but a sister can get down to the nitty gritty too, just like another, like another rapper. I, I can get with the male rappers, I can get with, with, with anybody. I can get with, with the, the most grimy singer. But, like I said, it's called my own role model, only because I know my direction, where I'm headed. Um, I know I'm a positive person, I can be positive, but I still don't want anybody to follow me. I'm in my own lane, doing my own thing. I mind my own business, <laughs> and I ain't hating on nobody, that's it. Okay. And I'm, yeah, sorry. Do, do you think it's, um, harder for females in the business? Or would you say you got an even playing field with the guys? When it comes down to, it depends on what genre of music that you're talking about. If we, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. If we're talking about hip hop, most definitely because males bond better with males. Um, you know, they're always going to talk to each other. They're going to say, hey, you want to go to the club and look at a female? There's not going to be a female that goes, oh, yeah, I want to be, there. you know what I'm saying? And, yeah. and even if she's down, they're like, man, you might mess up all night. Or, you know what I mean? And and people don't know this, but that could play a, a very big role, you know, why you don't see a lot of female rappers. Right. Because maybe that lady cannot hang with the clique. You see what I mean? Right. Um, but when it comes down to R&B, I think it's, it's, it's much better for women. Mm -hmm. So if a, if a woman raps, I say please do a little bit of singing too. Even if you can't sing, just learn how to harmonize, learn how to use that little bit of auto-tune. <laughs> yeah, but see, but see, and that's a good point that you brought up because mm -hmm. see, like, like with Nick Minaj, Nick Minaj don't have to.